Hey guys, this is Ishan. Bread is the stuff of life. I believe many of you guys have heard about this word, but haven't got a chance to know about what this sentence really means as we are living in the era of ample food. However, in today's world, there are still people suffering from food insecurity and they need our help. The amount of people that that are suffering from food insecurity in the United States is sh shocking. According according to the statistics provided from USDA in 2019, about 13.5 million households in the United States are experiencing food insecurity, which counts for about 10.5% of the households in this country. This number really shocked me as I did this research. I cannot even imagine that there are so many people living in hunger in this country. As I was living in a campus full of fragrance of birds, flowers, and the beautiful smells of food. Also, this number is only about households. Tramps are not included at all, but it's comforting that this statistic is decreasing regularly every year as it was 11.1 uh, in 2018 because many people are committed to helping people with food insecurity today in this peaceful country filled with love. Here is a little story I want to share with you guys. That was happened in April 2020. The Los Angeles Unified School District the second largest school in this country closed the campus in March 2020 and started giving free meals to people in need as there was plenty of food remain in the school. They handed out the um, more than 432,000 meals on March 31 alone. Their movement in, inspired many other schools in this country and uh, more and more starving people are getting free meals every day. And, and now I think we need to do our part to help with resolving this problem as a citizen. There are many ways we can help people experiencing food insecurity. For example, uh, for people living in neighborhoods with many seniors, Mail delivery to seniors will be a good way. For people living around food banks, donating non-perishable food to food banks, banks will be a good way as well. Then how can people living at or near Purdue do? The most efficient way is reducing the food waste. Also, there is a organization called ACE Campus Food Pantry at, at Purdue University which is free for those who are experiencing food insecurity at Purdue community. While working to meet the urgent, urgent needs of people in the Purdue communi community, ACE is also committed to elimin eliminating the root causes of hunger so that we can live in a world where ACE no longer needs to exist. When we have good organizations like ACE around around us, we should learn about how to make better use of the, this platform. ACE accepts food donations, and uh, that's the most uh, convenient way that we can do our part to help. We can take our uneatable food to ACE and they will take care of the food. Please note that I am not recommending you guys to donate your food directly to ACE. I am suggesting that you can donate your uneatable food if you are willing to donate your food directly both from the supermarkets and malls. That's the best. If you if you don't don't have uneatable food, that's good since you are not wasting any food, which helps reducing uh, food insecurity for sure. If you do have uneatable food, please just donate it generously. There are many people waiting for your food. If you are not located at Purdue, there are food banks and uh, pantries everywhere in this country. Donate your uneatable food to these facilities near you since the day. I believe this world will be better because of your food with love. And uh, these are my sources. Thank you for listening.